So I got a new lens and I just thought I'd test it out and I absolutely love it. I don't think this is going to be that great for vlogging because it's, um, it doesn't have a zoom or anything. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not very good with my camera words, my camera specs. Um, but it blurs out the background beautifully and the reason that I got it was first of all for sit down videos, um, like the videos I do, the living with one hand videos and also videos that I do on this channel too and also because I've finally started my blog up again. Um, sorry I'm just testing it out, I'm just testing it out as I speak. As I was saying I finally started my blog up again and I don't think I've spoken about it in videos, not only because we haven't actually uploaded that much recently but also because I didn't want to announce that I'm doing my blog again if I wasn't actually creating content on there and I wasn't actually enjoying it because I'm aware that I've done that quite a lot in the past. But it's something that I've always wanted to do and it's something that I want to keep doing. Um, yeah, and so I've been writing some blog posts up. I've got a few scheduled for the next few weeks and it's something I'm just really enjoying doing at the moment. And I think that's just because I'm uploading content about things that I enjoy rather than trying to upload content like everybody else. So for instance, um, I'm into making cocktails at the moment, so I'm going to do a blog post on making a cocktail. Just things like that. I also did one on making elderflower cordial, which I think you guys already know about, but that was really fun and it tastes amazing. And also a note that Ryan also made elderflower champagne at the same time and we've tried it and it tastes amazing. I should have vlogged it. Maybe we'll try some tonight as well. It tastes really good. I'm really impressed. Also, I just got this in the post, why I'm no longer talking to white people about race. I, when I worked for Collusion, I think you guys know, uh, I was one of like the founding collaborators, so I was kind of a bit like contractor for ASOS when they were starting up their brand Collusion. And we were talking about everything from casting to branding to what the key messages were going to be behind the brand. And someone recommended this, I think it was, I think it might have been Chadira at the Sunflower, I'm not sure. Anyway. Um, I always meant to read it and to be honest the only reason I didn't read it is because I just don't read books but after all the conversations that we've been having online I finally went to go and order it and it was out of stock and um, Ryan finally managed to get it for me so this is what I'm going to be reading this week I really should have read it years ago but better late than never right so I will let you know what I think I'll let you know what I've learned you can kind of see that to white people is there in case you wondered. It's a very um, cool design. didn't film what we ate. Well here's the aftermath. We had a salad, it was really nice. It had like tuna, potato, eggs and all the salady bits. It was really yummy. Love a salad. Nice and filling too. So what time did we go to bed last night Pete? Uh 4am. Why? Because we're watching Below Deck. Below Deck. So yeah me and Pete stayed up till 4am. Grace recommended us this series and it's called Below Deck. And it's like a reality TV show and it's like they're on this big yacht. Uh, we went sailing on a catamaran, not a, like a super sized yacht, but it just like brought us back to like sailing and stuff. Definitely not in that extent, 
but it was just like made me want to go sailing also made me wish I was super rich and could afford a yacht but <laughs> but um we just really liked it it was just very easy to watch it's on Netflix and yeah we stayed up till four so that was fun uh, we're gonna put a bit more on now and then probably cook dinner this is currently a pajama t-shirt that I'm wearing so apologies for that but today for dinner we are making a ban me which if you watched our Vietnamese like honeymoon vlogs you would know that me and Ryan absolutely love these they're like a pickled meat sandwich thing but they also do a vegetarian option too um, and it's a Vietnamese one obviously and so we're recreating it for dinner I don't know if it'll actually taste any good or not because we don't really know like why it's so good because it is just technically a sandwich anyway we've got the we've got like baguettes in the um in the oven because that's what they use we've got veg being pickled meat being sliced is that all that's in it oh we've got sriracha we've got fish sauce we've got soy sauce and we've got all the spices and blends so i'll let you know we'll do a little taste test as Ryan just said, the only thing we don't have is uh, pate. I'm not a fan of pate. Um, I'm sure it tasted nice in the sandwich when I had it, because assume, I assume it was in there. Although I really had, that's the sound of meat sizzling, by the way. Um, I actually had the vegetarian one most of the time in Vietnam, and it actually had dairy meat cheese in, which I thought was hilarious, and tofu. Um, but yeah, my mouth is watering so much. I fancy this since we came back from Vietnam. And I reckon I'm going to be very disappointed. What do you think, Ryan? I think you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> he thinks I'm going to be disappointed. Pizza. La 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 attempting to make like a sriracha mayonnaise, sriracha, sriracha mayonnaise because we've read that apparently sometimes that's what they have in their bun mayonnaise. We actually had no idea what was in the ones that we ate when it came to like sauces and spices so we're just relying on the internet here. It tastes a bit weird on its own but I'm sure it will taste nice when um, when we eat it all together with the pickled veg. I love pickled veg. Okay, so, ah, it's a taste test. What do you think, Ryan? Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah? Doesn't taste like bad meat, but it's not bad. Oh. I mean, it makes a mess like a banh mi. I'd say it's pretty good, but I agree. <laughs> it doesn't taste quite like a banh mi in Vietnam. It's pretty yummy though. It's like a pickly, meaty, yummy sandwich. It's lovely. Would have again, but it's not what we tasted in Vietnam. Nana and hope 
hopefully mum and Grace and Henry might be there. We're gonna do like social distancing in Nana's garden. The weather's been pretty meh, but... That way. Yeah, so the weather's been pretty poo. So the first sight of sun that we saw, I was like, I'm going to Nana's. I need to stay in Nana's garden. Um, double bonus if I get to see my mum. Like, it's, it's lovely. Like, I've only seen my Nana once. Obviously, social distancing, it's lovely, but obviously you want to give them a hug, but... You know, take what we can get at the moment. Same with your family in there. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm driving. <laughs> he's, got, he's been good, concentrated. Hey, Juno, Juno. And it is Friday. Today is the day that I'm actually going to edit the vlog. Uh, although every day mingles into one during lockdown, doesn't it, Juniper? Every day mingles into one. Yes, it does. I don't smell like food, I don't know why she's trying to kiss me. Is it just because you love me that much? Or because you want me to let you go? <laughs> yeah, although every day mingles into one, I kind of want to try and have a weekend where we don't do work, even though we don't actually have that much work to do, to be honest. Um, and the only way that I can kind of differentiate a weekend is that Ryan's not working and I'm not working out doing Joe Wicks's workouts on Saturday and Sunday, because I do those with my family, which you've already seen in the vlog. Um, so. I'm going to edit this vlog on a Friday, ready for it to go up on Monday. You'll be watching it on Monday. This is Friday. Um, so yeah, there's not really much for me to vlog today apart from me editing on the computer and giving Juniper a cuddle. Mwah, mwah, mwah. During lockdown it's really made me appreciate you, hasn't it Juniper? Yeah, it has. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. We're really trying hard to get back onto the... Uh, trying to get back onto the content creation um, wagon. It's been, it's been hard, I think, for everyone to be motivated to do things. And there's nothing worse than trying to force a video out where we just complain about how unmotivated and not great we feel and how upset we are with the world. Um, and don't even get me started on the people that are opposing Black Lives Matter, which you would have seen on my Instagram. I realized that we haven't really spoken much about that on, the, on, the, on our YouTube channel. But um, if you want to know more about our stances on that, we completely 100% support Black Lives Matter. I hope you already knew that. Um, but if you follow us on Instagram or you head to our Instagram, you'll see more about that there. Yeah, I hope you know our stance, but if you don't know and you don't know what we're doing and what we're trying to do and how we're trying to educate ourselves and stuff, I am happy to talk about that in the comments. I'm happy about to talk about that on Instagram. I'm happy to talk about it on here, but I just don't want to repeat myself again and again and again and again. Um, when I've already been saying all this stuff already on other social platforms. But let me know. Um, I never want to upset anyone, but I also want everyone to know where we stand, and I want everyone to know that I'm trying my best to educate myself, and Amelia is too. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, if there's anything that you would like us to talk about, or you have any questions for us, or you need any help with anything at the moment, please let us know, because we are here for you, even though it may have felt like we've been a bit distant on YouTube at the moment. I promise you we're still here for you, we're here to help you, we're here to talk to you, and I hope you're all doing okay. Thanks very much for watching guys, and we will see you next week, I promise. <laughs>